I'm not going to go through the analysis grid. I'm just going to jump through to the report. Yeah, six, same, ne? nothing. We've got introduction. We've got body, which is discussion and analysis. We've got findings and then we've got conclusion. Basically, we haven't done introduction and conclusion yet. Further on, we've, and the abstract. We've done everything else. Okay, so we write the abstract. We give them the fourth mark. We do a table of contents and a table of figures. Note that the table of figures is basically uh, the graph and the uh, screenshot of the report that you've done in phase two below the findings. So, so the minimum in a table of figures is three. Ne? Okay, then marks. We write the introduction. What happens to the introduction? The second heading disappears. It's introduction, task, definition, and focus question. Task, definition, and focus question is going to disappear now. And it's going to become introduction. Okay? So now we're writing a story about what we did and how come we did it, what, what, what. Right? And then if you look at this, it's the four, same four questions, basically three of the four questions as in the task definition. So let them leave that, but can't leave the question there anymore. You need to take the question away now and make it a paragraph. So there could be four paragraphs below introduction or four sentences at least. Okay, then the discussion and analysis, like I said, I don't think there should be additional headings and subheadings. We just did the discussion and analysis in phase one and we put the three categories with the information there. So that's fine. Just add hyperlinks now. Ne? And those are the marks. Oops, lots of marks here. Line space, inconsistent formatting. Remember, these marks have been given in phase one. Okay, then the body, readable fonts. We've done this in phase one. Ne? Plagiarism. Okay. Difference between a citation and a bibliography gets asked in the final paper two paper sometimes. But even yeah, teachers are asking me, should they put citations? Yes, below three paragraphs, there should be a citation. And those three citations will then become a list of the bibliography right at the end. OK, so they must have citations and they must have a bibliography. OK, it's not the same thing. OK, then the three claims or the arguments go below findings. We've done that, Mosne. We've done that in phase two. And we've given some marks. And then you write a conclusion. OK, oops, my ticks are out. All right. So basically, we've done everything. Just note the people that want to mark phase three in phase one, just make sure that they haven't messed up something in phase three now, which you've already allocated in phase one, because we're going to pick it up when we do moderation. Eh? OK, same marks, nothing funny. Website. Yeah, the only thing about the website that I've picked up is consistent formatting throughout. I don't find consistent. So I don't know, maybe some people think pink, blue and orange is nice. But for me, that's not consistent. If everything was blue, that's consistent. If everything is white, that's consistent. But pink, blue, and orange is not consistent. Or uh, the one is font Arial and the other is font elephant. For me, that's not consistent. All right? So the, the consistency for me with the web page is a problem. That's basically, and then the elements here, the line, for example, I ask people to have a heading with a line and a heading with a line. So you can have three web pages, one for introduction, one for the discussion and analysis, and one for the conclusion. And be, if you put a heading as uh, what topic, topic and introduction, put a line. And then there's three headings in the discussion and analysis, put a line. And then put a line on the third web, uh, web page as well, because I have a problem with consistency right uh, if they put 17 graphics then 17 alt tags if one graphic doesn't show then I don't give the second mark they want three three I don't have a problem okay the hyperlinks I also have a problem with because the hyperlinks are there but they don't consistently 
work. They must work right through to the end and back, else they don't get the first page, the first mark. Second mark is if the hyperlink link name makes sense. Page one, page two, page three, page two, page one, whatever. If that's very subjective as well. I wouldn't like page, but okay. And then the navigation system for me is consistent when it's in the same spot for all three. And it looks the same and the font is the same. And then, yeah, basically we, the information, if your information is fine in the report, it's going to be fine here. Yeah. If you have good understanding there, you're going to have good understanding here. Yeah. And the language, if it's a mess in the report, it will be a mess here. Yeah. Note. We also want three citations in the website. So where will I put it? I will put it under the discussion and analysis on that page because the sources that you use, you also have to acknowledge in the website. And there's a difference between citations and bibliography. If they put a list of the sources in the website, I don't give the citation mark. That's not a citation, right? So I want something in a bracket to say whoever 2025 or whatever. Else I don't give, and it must be three. Yeah, I'm strict. And then the two extra tags, whatever they are. And yeah, that's that. Sorry, I took 13 minutes when I said 10. Okay. Right, so that's basically my story. But if I've got any questions, I'm going to quickly go to my um, screen, my chats. May the Afrikaans learners do their pads in English? Yes. Maybe learners can just add Marika. Someone said that, yeah. Any other questions? I've noticed some teachers give a template for the website as well. Is it allowed? No. It's not. That's too much guidance. In grade 10 and 11, we can give the guidance, but we can't give them too much guidance in grade 12. Hence, the irregularity issue in... Um, in provincial moderation, the moment there's a pattern, we see it as an irregularity. Remember, the websites can't look the same because they are not the same. So no, I don't. I'm not happy. I'm not a big fan of templates, even a report, even reports. If we if we pick it up at provincial moderation or they pick it up at district, it's seen as an irregularity. Okay, someone said they wanted to ask something. Me, Fuchini, I want to ask now. There were the mark for the direct import for from the for the access. If we take the information out from the questionnaire and we split it into the access and the Excel, is that fine? If we yes. is that fine? Yeah. But then what I what you need to remember is that there should be at least five fields in the database and yes. a couple of headings in the spreadsheet. So my suggestion was that you um, actually um, did I say add a couple of questions more to the question? No, I do. I did last year. Five and five did two, ten That's questions fine. at the end for That's them to split it. it and then we imported it directly. But it was different question, no, you know. So, perfect. okay. Now, then it's fine. I just wanted to make sure. But it's fine because, you know, like you said with the provincial, people need to understand what why we are with the teacher moderators, why are we actually, you know, taking the marks away? Because we, you know, we are listening to you. We're worth this training, so it's fine. Okay. Thank you, Fatini. From my side, good luck with the pad, and remember that the pad counts a lot, so it does actually help with your results at the end. I've got proof of that in my district. So um, the provincial stance is that it shouldn't be less than fifty percent, and it actually makes a lot of sense to not have marks lower than fifty percent.